the people of the internet, it's me Chris from Geek Invasion. Today, vlogging time at Barnes and Nobles when it is Batman Day. People around, so I don't care. I'm vlogging. I, I like vlogging, so whatever. Um, yeah, Batman Day. Um, I'm going to show you the exhibit they have out. This is the stuff I got. Funny story, I got here the moment the Batman comics ran out, but somebody gave it to me because they're awesome. Thank you. Maybe I'll get that too. But all right, here's the stuff I picked up. Batman bookmark, Batman poster, which is a bigger size bookmark. Show you when I get home. A reprint of Detective Comics. Yep, exact. It's a reprint of the comic, along with adding on to it. And I picked up an Avengers thing. But yeah, that's the free stuff they're giving away. I put in my rally. I did a Batman trivia question. I met some awesome fans here, and I'm picking up this with me. Yeah, it's mine now. Um, yeah. So, I'm walking around, just looking at stuff. I'm going to show you guys the main exhibit in a cut jump in a minute, because right now I'm looking at the toys and stuff. Doctor Who. I love this place. It's so cool. I got more geeky stuff. And, yeah, I'm not going to talk when I show you guys the, um, the display out front, because I don't want to look like a dweeb walking around the camera. I have five I just found something amazing. I'll be back. Back in a second. All right, people at the internet, this is the display I wanted to show you really quickly. So yeah, here. Um, this this huge display of Batman comics, old things, this stuff. I'm getting a Entertainment Weekly instead of buying all this stuff because most of these comics are. Just wanted to show you. That's a great press by the way. I'm so happy I'm here. And here's some Batman discs. So, yeah. Look at all this stuff right now. I mean, God, mighty. This is so Mostly the late 60s to the 80s. And the 90s. Yeah, sure. Jason Todd. That was a great story. That's one of my favorite lines, actually. That was a great storyline. That was probably one of the earlier. All right, hi, um, I'm Chris. I just I'm Mark. Nice you, to meet you, Chris. I just want to ask you three questions. Sure. One, what's your favorite um, thing on your collection on this table right now? My favorite thing on the collection right now is this original 1966 ideal toy mask, which I had as a kid. I used to run around the house jumping off of my couches dressed with that and the bat cape that came with it. Nice. All right, question two. Favorite Batman movie and why? Michael Keaton, because it was the antithesis of what Batman stands for, the origination of how Batman came to be. Some of my friends hate that movie because of um, the killing in it. Well, Michael Keaton didn't kill in that movie. He named, but he did not kill. Mm -hmm. And Batman doesn't kill, as you see in the, yeah. the, the original versions. But if you go back to 1939, he, he used to carry a gun, stuff. and he yeah. did kill back in the original comics. Mm -hmm. And that changed when DC Comics had become more family friendly. Right. Like the comics go and all that stuff. That's correct. And my final question is what's your favorite Robin? Favorite Robin is Dick Grayson back in the day when he was a true acrobat. He was my favorite too. Absolutely. And I like Nightwing. So. One of my favorite all time characters is Nightwing. I was going to bring a couple of Nightwing pieces, but the whole purpose of this is to celebrate Batman's 75th anniversary, which is why I'm here today at Barnes and Nobles for Batman Day. So, uh, thank you very much. Check us out on, check us out on Collect Some. As I leave this wonderful Barnes and Nose, Nobles, I just want to say, be sure to watch um, two videos that I will be posting. What is in the insight on that Entertainment Weekly I bought, and what the detective.